When I think about the history of the Penry School, and I think about why it's important that the school has been in existence for 150 years, I don't think of bricks and mortar. But I think of the incredibly strong tradition that the school has of providing an outstanding basis for life, not just for college, but for life. That was the goal, I believe, of Dr. Pengree when he founded the school, and that has continued to be central to the mission of the school ever since. This is a school that in its almost 150 year history had moved multiple times, um, not because it was being evicted from its quarters, but because it was always looking for a better place and a better way to deliver uh, on its mission. And that to me bespoke a school that was really interested in, in delivering what it delivered in the best possible way. That was the, the kind of school that I wanted to be a part of. My parents lived in the mid-30s to early 40s in an apartment in Elizabeth and when they used to walk around uh, with my brother or me as little kids they said we wanted to go to private schools and Pingree was the school they selected and we got accepted and so I started. At that time I think Pingree was known for its individual attention and the fact that people could get a great foundation for a later life. I mean, private education was the way to go. When I first started, it was around 1941. The impression I first had at Pingree were the classes were small, the, the kids were smart, they were all smart. Things got a little rougher without the girls around. I mean, you'd have, you know, fights after lunch and nobody kind of dressed up for or whatever, uh, combed your hair or anything like that. So it was kind of a little wilder than, than it might have been if, if the girls were here. I think the one theme that was very important was certainly uh, honor and the honor code. Uh, I can remember a student standing up in the back and he got up and said to the whole 300 or 400 people that were there, he said, uh, I cheated on the last exam and I'm guilty and uh, I will uh, receive the due, due punishment. The system worked very well and most people observed it at all times, rather fail and be dishonored by looking at someone's papers. When I started at Pingree, one of the things that stood out the most was the fact that Pingree had an honor system. It was something that was just part of the fabric of the school even then. So you need all the factors of nine, and then all the factors of I think that okay. there's an idea about a community here that is very infrequently seen, and, and it's built on an idea of trust. It's a trust which is embodied in the honor code and the honor system, which says basically you're there to improve yourself, you're there to set your own standards, and you're there to live by those standards. Cuando lees a Gabriel García Márquez, o si tú lees a... I think there's definitely a sense of tradition at Pingree just in terms of some of the values that have endured for this long, especially like the honor code. It hasn't really changed over the years. It's always been a place where you can come and get a really great education, but you can also make a lot of friends and get really close with your teachers and come out with a lot of different values. Good morning. I like your shoes, very nice. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. Each morning I, I greet the kids outside with a handshake. It's really important for the kids, I think, to see me out there, to know them by name. Good morning, Rachel. How are you today? Good morning. Good morning. It's good training for them to stop, morning, make good eye contact, and a nice firm handshake, too. Good morning, Olivia. <laughs> Can any 
anybody think of a letter that starts by going like this? Katie. Um, oh. You start it at the top and you end it at the top. That makes your lowercase o. Excellent. I think the country day philosophy is still embedded in, in the Pingree School in the sense that you'll still see teachers working on educating kids in every opportunity, seizing those teachable moments. And it could be on the athletic field, it could be at working on a play or a musical or just an advisor group. It goes beyond just what goes on in the classroom. And that's really what Pingree is all about is seizing those moments to help kids learn and experience things beyond just the textbooks in the classrooms. Brian. Yes. Good friends can disagree without hurting each other's feelings. And what does that mean? There's a real thirst for learning. I think there's a, a real comfort with cooperative learning with other kids. These kids want to be here. You can work with any child on anything as long as they want to be where they are, as long as they want to be in the school. On the very top of the website, it says study skills. The heart and soul of the Pingree School and any good school is the relationship between the students and the teachers. And I think we're blessed at Pingree over the, my years here to have some pretty amazing teachers involved in educating kids. Dr. Pingree himself built the school up from almost nothing and it was a school very much in the mold of 19th century schools, that clergymen would gather a few students around him and teach them in his home. Newton was the first outstanding head who saw education in the larger context. But then Newton took this a few paces more and really created an institution as opposed to just a small group of people. But Newton had a vision, and that vision prompted him to argue that character was the primary quality that he looked for in his students and in his teachers. If there was one figure that you had to point to in the history of Pingree, I would say it would be Newton. He set the style, he set the tone, he set the qualities. He was a, clearly a humane man. So what are you giving me for Halloween? I love that one. Less burden, you can pay the taxes. When you have a giraffe in the house, you don't realize how big it is. That's a gymnasium there. That's the gym? Yep, this is the main entrance. This shot was taken from the, this building. Uh -huh. <clears throat> what was it like back then? Well, there was a war on. Some of those faces looked familiar. And I was commuting to school by train from Matawan, get off at Elizabeth and walk up to Parker Road to go to school. It was a very rewarding experience because it, it helped to fashion my outlook on life.